conserving animals, it has direct impact on my life by protecting mountain gorillas. I'm protecting my environment, I'm protecting my community. Conservation and tourism are like a twins. You cannot separate them. We do conserve first, then after conservation, tourism. And then tourism keep generating income to conserve uh, national parks. Our purpose is to have sustainable conservation, which try to meet our needs today, but without compromising the ability of the future generation of meeting their own needs. So this is what we expect from also travelers and visitors who come to visit Rwanda. Respect the nature as we do respect it today. Tourism has changed a lot this area. It contributed a lot in improving the living condition of local people. Through revenue sharing, the schools are being built. Through revenue sharing, the health centers are being built. Through revenue sharing, the water systems are being established in different locations in this area. These forests we are conserving, these forests we are protecting, they contribute in a carbon sequestration. Conservation should be kind of a collaborative work because the impact of not conserving can be felt even far from here. Maybe ignoring this task can be easy, but the cost can be high. And my hope in the future is that the vision and the goals of our organization of having sustainable conservation today and in the future will be achieved. My name is Daniel Nyonsawa. I'm a tourist guide in Volcanoes National Park.